That's your average motherfucking pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. 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 when I heard you, I was like, hey, yo, listen, bring me. Dirty hits. in the films. Let's go. Yes. You want to give us something that ain't going to be back. I'm here with the bro. The D O E. Bang, oh, we bang, 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 GSW take over, emergence, glory by honor, man. This is a all-star recap right here in your face. Bam, this is season four, so let's get it in. This is Jam Pack, you already yeah, know. You know. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on Spotify, we're on Apple Music, we're on Pro Wrestling Tees, Twitter, hashtag Dirty Hills, man, Instagram, you already know, man. Yeah, man. Worldwide, you feel me? Let's get it. We just How's made it. Oh, yo. It was dope, man. It was. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I am over, over wrestled, man. Oh, he the OW. I am OW, man. You feel me, man? The amount of wrestling podcasting amount uh, from this last week, this, uh, this weekend, even this motherfucking week, it was overwhelming. But I fucking love it, man. The culture was real. I went to GSW, man. I was it. I was it. I was it. Two night global festival shit was. Oh uh, man! Shout out to Brandon Scar. Shout out to Jose. Yo. Got to top it up with the big ooze himself, Fatu. You already know. Yeah, man, yeah man, he, man, he, he told me I was real big. Love is love, man. man. I, yo, I got the yo, got to meet the all time dirtiest hill of them all, man. Double A, option C, Austin motherfucking Aries. That was an honor, man. Aries have to be the hill. Yo, that, yo, yo, that's that dirty hill. That was fucking dope, man. That's that dirty hill. That, that's, the, that's the dirty hill father right yeah, there, man. You already hill, know. Yeah. Uh, I got to um, top it up with Mr. Mayhem himself, man. Steve Macklin, man. That was an honor, man. Just to be around right. everybody like G.O. Wrecking Ball. Uh, just, yo. Young, uh, young, dumb and broke, man. Got to chop it up with every hammerstone, man. It was just overwhelming, and I loved it, man. I love y'all, man. Make sure y'all go check out the uh, Yo, footage on YouTube, Please, YouTube, please, man. subscribe and all that shit, man. Go subscribe to them, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's, 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 let's get it in, man. Let's get it in, man. CM Punk is motherfucking back, man. All right, we'll give him a clap. Look in my eyes, who do you see? Of oh, my personality. See, uh, he broke the box office for the shirts. Broke, broke YouTube, nigga. Broke YouTube, yeah, man. man. I guess, crying. I guess, uh, I guess, I guess, uh, I guess, I guess Santa was real. I guess Santa was real, man. Uh, I guess he, he couldn't disappoint Chicago. You feel me? Yeah. Let, let, you know, that's cool and though. You made your debut. You came back, man. You know what I'm saying? After seven years, whatever you want to call it, man. But let's see what happens next. You feel me? What What are you gonna contribute? Uh, you, you know, Darby Allen. <laughs> he not ready. He not ready. But don't. That's gonna be the match that's gonna steal the show out all out. Darby Everybody, Allen. Everybody got free ice cream. No free. The ice niggas got what beep. They got what they want. The ice cream bars, man. That's all we wanted seven years ago, but we couldn't get ice that, man. Bars. Remember the ice cream bars from back in yeah, the day, they, man. You feel me? We they, awesome. they tried to they, they tried to re uh, remake them, and it didn't didn't work. Didn't work, man. Nobody wants to see Cena on an ice cream bar. Cena sucks. But Cena I'm, sucks. I'm happy uh, he's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's see, man. I, I think I, I let's just. Don't let us down, man. That's all I'm saying. Don't let the, the fans down. That's all. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you would. Man. I right. waited this long. Why would he? Why would he, right? I'm just going to skim through Emergence, man. You feel me? I'm pretty sure you didn't see Emergence, man. Nah. All right, well, I'm skim through it real quick. Uh, let us know in the comments down below how y'all felt about Emergence. Let us know how y'all felt about CM Punk. Speaking about uh, Impact Wrestling, it was a guy that was crying on, uh, on when CM Punk came back. Tommy yeah. Dreamer is going to fly that guy out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? To, Impact. To Impact. Some, uh, no, that's, that's kind of dope, man. The first match was Matt Cardona he, uh, uh, versus Rohit Raju. I mean, how? Hakeem Zane, of course, uh, Matt Cardona won. You know how that shit go. They got a new name for him, it's the All Day. Uh, he was he was also at GCW No Rails, man, over this weekend. So y'all make sure y'all go check that out. Mm. All right, the, the K got it in. You feel me? Uh, defeated Ro Falaba. No way. Now they call him No No Way now. You feel me? No. So, Savannah, Savannah Evans and Tasha, Tasha Stills. You feel me? Now, the big story is Tasha Stills and Savannah Evans. They're going for the Impact titles, uh, the Impact knockout side against uh, Havoc and Rosemary, man. So who do you, do you see uh, Savannah Evans and Tasha yeah. Stills getting them titles back, man? Of course. All right, man. Of course. All right, man. 
All right, now again, man, we got the Steve Macklin, man, Mr. Mayhem him fucking self. He defeated Petey Williams, man, by pinfall. Now, this is the thing about this match right here. Mr. Mayhem is dope. I ain't gonna lie. Macklin is good. You feel me? Petey Williams, you're dope. You're a legend and all that. But your problem is when you you go to the well too too much when it comes down to Canadian destroyer. You 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 depend on that move too much, man. So it's easy for a wrestler to telegraph it. You know what I'm saying? Not to say that Mr. Malik and uh, uh, Steve wasn't putting in that work, but Petey, man, stop. Feel me? You know what I'm saying? It's like seems like you since you got older. It seems like you, that you. you feel me? It does. You dwell on that one move and. Please, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget where you came from. Yes, I know Canadian Destroyer is that, is your move and all that shit, but please, man. Let's win matches, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into this next match, man. Madison Rain, uh, she defeated Taylor Wilde. Who cares, you know what I'm saying? Let's get into the next match. The fatal four-way match to determine the number one contender for the Impact World Champion. We got Ace Austin. We got um, Ace Austin, Chris Saban, Moose, and Sammy Callahan. This match was straight crap. You feel me? And uh, who won? Ace Austin. Mm. Ace Austin. You feel me? Fights uh, Christian. Well, you kind of just broke. The, you know, you know, you just kind of broke kayfabe. But yes, he is going to end up fighting Chris because you know Christian beat or Brian Myers. Yeah. That, you feel it? <laughs> you feel me? But do you do you see? Is this Ace Austin's time, man? Let's be real, mm, man. No, nah, man. Nah, it'll be a while for anybody from another. From the original from, company to get the title. Okay, okay, okay. That's how I feel. It'll be uh, a while before someone from the original company gets the title. Uh, speaking of title, Christian has uh, uh, retired the TNA belt, man. This <laughs> <laughs> has been playing all, the way, all along. It, it, it's crazy because Moose brought that title out, yeah. man. And it looks like Moose is never going to get his championship opportunity. They've been playing all along, so you know not. All right, man. We got the walking weapon, man. He, uh, uh, the X Division, uh, X Division champion versus Jake something, man. Of course, the walking weapon did it, man. And it would, nothing to take, nothing to take anything from Jake something, man. But we was talking not too long ago about dream matches. I wouldn't mind. No, you said you wouldn't mind seeing Josh Alexander versus Cesaro, man. Yeah, fire. That'd be a dope, fire. dope. Let us know in the comments down below if you yeah. would, if you would have loved to see the Walk Weapon versus the Swiss Superman, man. Yeah, it's it's gonna have a uh, hole for hole, like muscle, muscle for muscle, like pound for pound, pound for pound, for pound for shit, like man. Like strength and, and endurance. Yeah, I think those guys got it. Yeah, they got the moves. They got all of that. Still, uh, skill set. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think it'll be a fire, fire move. I think the only thing that la they la uh, Cesaro lacks is like character kind of. I mean, Josh Alexander don't got a character either. They're like, if you think about, it, they're like the same people. Yeah, right? yeah, but you know what sets Josh Alexander apart? He was with the North. He so they page. had a character. So, 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 all right, all right, so, so what about, well, all right, so what about the bar? As we digress, Sheamus and Cesaro, because I always yeah, think about that bar. Yeah, but now you see Cesaro. I mean, Sheamus embodied more of the bar ah. than Sheamus. I mean, than Cesaro. Okay, let us know in the comments down below. How you, How about this is a dream match? The North versus the bar. Fine. That would have been dope. That yeah, right fine. there. Let us know. We digress. Let us know down in the comments, man. We, you feel me? Uh, let's get into this next match. We got the Drama King. You feel me? We can't call him Aiden English, and I can't pronounce his, his last name. But we got the Drama King, Diana Peralta, the uh, recently crowned homecoming and king and queen of Impact Wrestling versus Trey Miguel and the Melina, the return of Melina. Of course, Melina will be fighting Diana Peralta at uh, NWA and Power Pay Per View, the all females pay per view, man. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's going to be kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? Of course, uh, they didn't win. Of course, Molina and Trey Miguel did not win that match, man. Uh, I, I, it's good to see the drama king in a row, man, where, you know, he's more accepted as, you know, because you've seen him as his hype man in uh, WWE. Yeah, you know, but he was the reason why Cesaro, I mean, uh, 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 got over. Yeah, why Rusev and Murrow got over. This yeah, is true. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to see him. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. All right, man, we, let's, get, let's get into this three-way tag team match for the Impact World Tag Team Champion. We got the Good Brothers versus Rich Wong, Willie Mack, and VBD, Joe Doran, and Rhino. Feel me? Now, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm going to digress again. If y'all didn't go see it, go watch that match between Joe Doran and, uh, and, and Doc Gallows recently on Impact, man, because they tore it down, man. Okay, okay. Yo, yo, uh, uh, Gallows put Joe Doran. 
through the stage. Mm. You feel me? It was a dope match. I ain't going out two big bulls. Yeah. Right. You feel me? Go at it, man. But of course, man, the Good Brothers retained the Impact Tag Team titles, man. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a fan of Willie Mack and Rich Vaughn as a tag team. You feel Never me? Been. I wish you. I've never really been there. No. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right. I've never really, been a fan. I really wish BBD, Violent by the Zonks, I love that team, man. Eric Young, Joe Doran, uh, the Dina, and Rhino, man, I love that squad. Like, you could tell, like, yo, this is their world. Like, they hold Impact Wrestling down, you know what I'm saying? I wish they really, really would have got that title back. You feel me? But, of course, the Good Brothers, the storyline with the Elite and the shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. man, let us know down in the comments how y'all how y'all feel about, how y'all felt about that match. Let's get into this next match, which already broke it already. Chris the Crazy defeated Brian Myers, man. You feel me? My bad, man. Now, I, now I'm not putting no shade on Brian Myers because Brian Myers is the most professional wrestler. The boy is nice, man. I ain't gonna hold you, yeah, man. Yeah, but come on, I just don't like the fact that Again, we spoke about this all the time. People look at Matt Cardona instead of Brian Myers. Brian Myers. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yes, Brian Myers. I mean, uh, Matt Cardona is your GCW champion. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of dope and shit like that. But let's put some, res some respect, some gold on Brian Myers. You feel me? You know what all I'm right, saying? Right. Let us know in the comments how y'all felt about Emerges, man. Again, this is the All-Star Recap. Man, you already know this is season motherfucking four. I'm the D-O motherfucking E. And who are you? Fucking Kofi Weasel. I'm at you pointing at me and I'm talking to you, man. Oh, well, you said the DOE. Yeah, the DOE, man. I have a name today, man. I didn't, I didn't come up with one. Yeah, it's come on, man. What's going on with you, man? Ah, uh, my daughter's birthday. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, as, as you can see, he was no way around. He was with yeah, me in man. spirit. I was the whole time uh, I was at GSW, he was texting me, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. man. <laughs> he was like, yo, stop banging on that wall, man. Yo, that's a nice brick wall. Hey, get out that girl here, <laughs> man. Yo, that, like, this dude here, man, is crazy, man. You feel me? But it was it was dope, man. Great experience. I love you, man. Let's get it in. Glory by honor, ROH, man. Let's uh -huh. get it in, man. I'm going to skim through this, man, because, of course, this was a two-night extravaganza, just like Global Festival was. You feel me? Yeah. Let's get into this first match. Silas Young defeated uh, the real man. No, the last man, Silas Young, defeated Ray Horace. Okay. You feel me? Uh, you got the six six man mayhem match for a spot for the ROH championship. You got Flamita, Eli, uh, defe Flamita de uh, defeated uh, Eli, that Draper, Dan Housen, Mike Bennett, and PJ Black. Flamita, of course, he turned on the Mexican squad and stuff like that. So, you know, it's kind of like when Phoenix went dark and shit yeah, like that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get into this next match, man. EC3 defeated Brian Johnson in the singles match, man. I actually did see that, and I was kind of like, I didn't know who Brian Johnson kind of was. Yeah, he's a, he's a ROH original, man. You feel me? All right, all right. Kind of messed me up because I was like, yeah. did they just threw him anybody? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, EC3 broke his arm and stuff. I mean, his hand and shit like that. It was good to see EC3 doing his thing. He's kind of kind of getting cocky, man. Man, you feel me? Should be. Hey, hey, Should control be. your narrative. You feel me? Yeah. All right, man, let's get into the next match. We got Mark Briscoe defeated Bateman, of course, of the Righteous. The next match, the Pure Rules match for the ROH Championship. Jonathan Grisham defeated, of course, one of the members of the foundation, uh, Red Titus. I like the fact that they all keep it in themselves. I do like that, but because the, there's nobody else that could take down uh, yeah. uh, the octopus. Yeah. Yeah. So, my, my, it sounds kind of whack, but. Let's fight amongst ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, Violence Unlimited, Brody King, Tony Deppin, Homicide, and Chris Dickerson. They defeated the Faction Anglo Novelist, Dragon Lee, Kenny King, La Batista Del Ring, and Rouge, man, in the eight man tag team. It, it ended up, it, first of all, it ended up in a no contest. I'm sorry, man, because they were just beating the shit out of each other. Yeah. Of course, yeah. it's the war between La Faction and Anglo Novelist. Uh, uh, violence limited and the foundation is brewing to see who rules the ring of honor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was getting to the next match. <laughs> it ended up turning in into a, a Philadelphia a Philadelphia street match. Same people we just talked about. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, violence unlimited defeated. It's a violence match. It's a street fight. So why not the dudes? With the name yeah. violent, you know what I'm saying? But it kind of fucks people up when people that don't do no violent matches and shit like that win violent matches. True. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get it into the next match, man. Bandito defeated Flip Gordon, man, for the ROH World Championship. We already knew that Flip was going to never get his opportunity, man. Yeah. 
Ah, we, we talked about this. This is Bandito ago. time, man. You feel yeah, me? We talked about this a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You feel me? Yeah. All right, man. You already know, man. I got to see another girl. I didn't mention her name at GSW Global Fest. Trisha Dora. She defeated uh, Sumi Siaki, man. She future, she's a future ROH Women's Championship, man. Champion. I'm saying for a little minute. You feel me? Yeah, let's get it in, man. All right, man. We got uh, Shane Tuck Promotions, man, for uh, defeated uh, Incoherent. For the six men, uh, for the all week six men, that was a course. dope match though. Cause Shane Taylor, he had to let him know, like, yo, I'll see y'all down the line. I didn't know who the dudes were though. Uh, in the well, if you watch all weeks back in the day, you would know who the dudes were. Man. All right, feel me? But it was a dope match again. Yo, big shout out to Shane Taylor Promotions, Khan, Moses, Rev Hunt, O'Shea, man, them dudes is the future, man, for the culture, man. Right. You know what I'm saying they're they gonna be holding them titles. For a long time. And it's crazy because speaking of all the game warfare in the ROH, you see nobody the one the problems with Satan Taylor right now, right? Nah. You, you feel me? Nah, the found, him alone. You feel me? The foundation will try to go one on one with Shane Taylor, but they're not. Come on, man. Yeah, we'll leave him alone. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Let's get into the next match, man. Mark Briscoe, man. Brian um, Brian Johnson, the dude that fought night one. Yeah. They defeated. Flip Gordon and Flamita, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Uh, of course, niggas thought Flip broke his neck, but he was okay, you know what I'm saying? We got the foundation, Jay, Jonathan, uh, the foundation versus Finals Eliminated. Of course, the foundation won. Yeah. But you would figure the foundation would beat everybody, it would be the top faction. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, honest with you, top faction is the Unlimited, man. Uh, Vaughn's Unlimited, man. Because you know what? The top faction is the guys with the title. This is true. Well, the top faction is SOS, uh, Saint Taylor Promotions. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, it would be because Roosh, Roosh lost the title. John Nick Bristol only has the ROH title. Uh, Vance Limited, they, uh, Tony Deppin lost the, uh, that title. And Vance Limited, they only have the tag titles, Homicide and Chris, Chris Dickinson. That's crazy. You know what I mean? So yeah. the top tag team is, the top team in it is Saint Taylor Promotions. You yeah. know what I mean? All right, then let's get into the next match. The faction Ingo Nobles defeated Mexico Squad again, Bandito Ray Horace, but of course, Dragon Lee and the Bandito are homies, you know what I'm saying? So the bond, yo, know, Roosh was like, yo, get your head, you know, fuck that. Game, yeah, dude. man, fuck that, having a bond and shit like that. It was a dope match, you know what I'm saying? But the, the, the respect was still given at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest with you, and I want to mention something. Mm -hmm. Kenny King, they're gonna end up kicking Kenny King out of that group. And why is that? I don't think he, he he fits, man. I don't. I mean, honestly, they're gonna end up kicking him out of that group, man. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about that, man. Let's get into this next match, man. Vincent, uh, uh, Vincent defeated Matt Taven. All right, Vincent, Vincent of the League of the Righteous defeated Matt Taven of uh, the OG Kingdom. Of course, Vince, the Vincent was a part of the kingdom. You feel me? Uh, he felt like he was being overshadowed by Matt Taven and shit like that, and. He's up to this shit. Be uh, there, huh? Yep. But not only it was up for Matt Taven's future ROH uh, World Championship opportunity. Mm -hmm. So now Vincent is now a future contender for the ROH title. You know what I'm saying? Feel That's me? if Matt Taven ever gets one. Yeah. 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 So let me know in the comments down below how y'all felt about Glory by Honor. We just talked Emergence Impact Wrestling. Uh, glory, Glory, uh, Glory by Honor, night one, night two. Let's talk SummerSlam, man. Your thoughts on SummerSlam in general? Uh, it's only maybe, I think, three matches we should really discuss about SummerSlam because overall, I'll probably give it a three. Maybe, uh, I, I think, yo, after I did a lot of talking about it, you know, uh, with a, all these other podcasts, shout out to them. Yeah, yeah. I can't name them off the top. Um, but I'll, I'll probably have to give it a three just because, I don't know. I don't know. It's something about it, I just. just SummerSlam was like raw. Yeah. <laughs> it was like SummerSlam. Yes. In a lot of moments, it was some high right moments, but. All right, let's not talk about the, the, the number one moment. All right, okay, your bro is your new tag team champion, uh, raw, a raw tag team champion. I'm not at it. You know what I mean? What's it, man? I'm not a fan of RK bro. It wasn't, but uh, I, I like Randy Orton, so I'm like, cool. Whatever. Okay. All right, cool. All right, man. Damian Priest. Cool. I was, Is cool. your I was right. new United States championship, man. Champion, right? right man. He I defeated right. Sheamus. I was right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said Sheamus is going to move on. 
Shout out to the Ring Fanatics, man, because we, we was recently on their show. You know what I'm saying? So that. that Y'all go check out that clip as well, man. Go check out them. I think you also said it on uh, Circle of Debate, too. He was on Circle yeah. of Debate, man. You feel me? So shout out to Damian Priest, man. Uh, we're going to stick to Raw with him. He is now in the uh, in the title contendership along with Bobby Lashley Sheamus. and Sheamus, man. Yeah. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? I said it. I think that's real dope, man. You feel Fact, me? kind of fast track, it makes sense. Had to, man. It'll put the uh, U.S. title... Uh, it gave us some prestige, man. Yeah, yeah. You know they don't have many guys to even go against, so yeah, hey, why not? Thanos, they, yeah. they, they know, they, they, they know. All right, man, you're getting your next match, man. The Bloodline defeated uh, uh, the Mysterios again for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. We're glad it wasn't on the pre-show. Feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever. You feel me? The, the, uh, the Usos are like the good brothers of SmackDown, WWE. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't even. All right, man. Yeah. And this... This match right here, man. Let's go. Let's go for it, man. Bianca Belair was supposed to fight my four five Sasha Banks. Apparently, for the SmackDown Women's Championship, apparently Sasha Banks couldn't be there. So they gave the opportunity to who? Carmella. Of course, that was overshadowed by the return of the man, which... That was over, overshadowed by the fact that she beat Bianca Belair. <laughs> My thing is, Becky, you relinquished the Raw Championship. Um, the Raw Championship. It's not Becky's fault. You can't blame Becky. You can't blame Becky. It's company. It's company. All right. So, what, you, let us, what your thoughts on that, man? Company. I mean, Becky doesn't go out there and tell them anyone that she wants to go out there and beat her in two minutes. Oh man. You know, she's not the one who writes this. They shit. made Bianca All right, look. Let's, let's be honest. They made Bianca look real weak, man. Super weak. One, her name is the EST. She's supposed to be the best at everything, no nah. matter what it is. The best, nah. the fastest, nah. the strongest, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Nah. And the problem we get when she had no control. You, you just straight buried her. Yo, you you had no. Shout out to Mr. Black. I did watch Yo, what he said, man. Shout out to Mr. Black. Shout out to Mr. Black, man. You already know Drop Test Podcast. Yeah, I'll, I'll play a little bit. Bianca Bellia. You squashed the four. I refuse to believe that uh, this is a black and white issue, but this is an issue of not creating stars. Um, we all know that Bianca Belia is money. The hype packages they had for her, you say she did all of this. You may not know, a lot of people may not know that. It's the first time they was presented with this information. So you did all this work, all the hype package. You did that match, she got the award for ESPN. You'll think you wanna continue that momentum to have another star just to the level as Becky Lynch. But no, you didn't use the opportunity. All you did is Return her, like basically make may her look trash compared to Becky Lynch, somebody that who literally just came back. I'm not saying she just came back from another wrestling company. She just came back from being having a baby and working out. I'm saying that yo, you did nothing for Bianca Belair character, and what are you gonna do? Have a rematch and she beat it again? No, you already know. I just think that was kind of weak. Um. I don't, that was one of the lackluster moments. The pop was cool. The return was cool. You feel me? Yeah, but, but the I, spot I, itself. I would have rather them just fight or them just, just go face to face and not never fight, fight right away. You get what I'm saying? I would rather that. that was I would rather, I would have rather them about to fight and then Carmella comes back in. And, and they and, make it a triple threat. Yeah, I would, I would have rather. That was. No, I would have rather anything else, but I don't think. They caught, like I said, they called you Kingston her. Yeah. Yeah. They showed her. Now. No, no. To me, it was a slap in the face. Yeah. It showed, it was a slap in the face of Carmella also. Man, uh, yeah. Because it was like the biggest stage of them all, but you have me going out and doing something. And she just lost again. She just lost to her that Friday previously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's like, damn. Like, and then not even that. It's a slap in the face that I'm the champ and you have me go out in yeah. two, not even two minutes. Yo. Not even two minutes. Yo, and we we was all waiting for the man returning, but that right there was just like. I mean, I understand you want to turn her heel and stuff. Turn who heel? Uh, Becky Lynch is. Becky, Becky Lynch became everything Charlotte. She said Charlotte Flair was. Yeah. Basically, basically, bro. 
Like, come on, man. She's uh, about to turn the heel or whatever. I mean, I don't know, man. Oh, man. Once again, now, I need Oscar to come out and whip her ass down. Now I need Oscar to get drafted to fucking SmackDown and whip her ass and whip Oscar ass. I don't know, man. That was crazy, man. Let us know in the comments down below, man. Uh, yo, doesn't care who doesn't. Nobody care about Drew McIntyre. To Jim Mahal, we're gonna move on, man. My thing is, why is he allowed to use a sword? All right, all right. Next match, man. Charlotte Flair, of course, the new Raw Women's uh, Championship, man. Raw Women's title. We all told you. We knew it. Let's get into the one of the best matches, and this was dope, man. Edge versus fucking fucking Seth freaking Rollins, man. Right. First of all, big shout out to the Brood entrance, man. <laughs> yo, come on, bro. That was yo. Fine. Or if you were attitude baby, man. If you're attitude kid, man. You pissed your motherfucking pants. First of yeah. all, that Friday prior, he dropped the whole blood, blood on him. So come on, man. Look, look, good new kids. You kind of knew it was coming, oh, but you man. didn't know how it was oh, coming. Oh, man, man. Oh, man. Like, was that a shot to Gang uh, Gangrel? Was that a shot to fucking nah, was Christian? That was a shot at Christian. That was a shot at Christian? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Because Gangrel still uses that entrance and that theme song on the independent team. <coughs> yeah, but that was definitely a shot at Christian, man. Oh man, that was yeah. crazy. That was crazy. Um, so that's my peeps out there. Fire, fire match back and forth. Yo, back and forth. Ed, Ed, yo, big again. Um, big the, shout out to Edge, man. The dope near pinfall. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the pedigree, he's he reversed it into yes. a pedigree. Yes, yes. Spirit to a pedigree. It was yes. Moves, yes. Man, I can't really think of man. Yes. Uh, the, the, the cutter from the top row. Yes, yes. yes. Yo, so, and man, I, again. Big shout out to Edge, because this is the best he ever worked in his entire career. I mean, I don't fuck, you know what I'm saying? Yo, let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me. If you don't, hey. Nah, I, I might even agree with you. Yo, this is, and not only that, man, he's one a of part, best and he's a part I'm going to say one of, one of his best matches since he's been back. I can't, first of all, I can't even call him a part-timer no more. I can't even call him a part-timer. He's been back. I can't even call him a part-timer. He's been back. He's been back, he's been back man. Except for that little injury, little time he took off for another little injury, but he's been back. Yeah. So, look, I'm not even mad about him even being in opportunity shifts, but that's going to bring us to our whole Goldberg shirt. <laughs> Goldberg, Goldberg, yo, man. man. Right. But, yo, let us know in the comments down below how y'all felt about that, man. You feel me? Let's get into this next match. Goldberg, Bobby Lashley, man, defeated. I want to give this match a walk, but I still can't because Bobby Lashley went out there and did exactly what we wanted him to do. Yeah, yeah. So I'm happy for that. MVP did what, what he wanted, what we wanted him to do, also, man. But the fact that we wasted our time on a match that we knew, yeah, what was going to happen, yeah, and then the best part wasn't even him beating up Goldberg. It was, yeah. it was him. Choking, choking out, out his, uh gaze. I'm about to call him Dominic and shit like, like that. For choking out his yeah, yo, 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 that first of all, he beat Gober ass, but Gober couldn't even finish that. And that, and that again, that comes back from not coming around all year round, not well, training your well, I don't give a fuck, man. Storyline, man. You know, it didn't make no now, sense. Now Goldberg's out. And that's it. They straight you made know? it a Dom a, a Rey Mysterio Dominic fucking situation. Yeah, that's it. Big E didn't cash him. Big E did not cash in yeah. on that match. He, he fought someone, too. Uh, he fought Baron Corbin, you know, Corbin. Yeah, go Corbin. Uh, uh, who cares, right? Yeah. But that was my biggest gripe, Big E not cashing in at all. But, hey, save it. Save it. I appreciate it. It's the money in the bank. Let's not squander. Protect Big E. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Let's get into this next match. Uh, we got Roman Reigns defeated John Cena. It was a great match. He did. But, th but that's not even the kicker, man. Even the kicker. The beast incarnate, the butcher himself, the the, the real man, Brock Lesnar, is back. Oh, uh, now that's that was, ponytail Brock Lesnar. Yo, 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 like my man just straight got off from butchering the whole cow, man. Like, yo, first of all, I like this Brock, man. Yeah. I like this Brock, man. It looks like he's he laid off the royals. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, man. He, he, look, he looks okay, man. Uh, Paul Heyman. That's the storyline. Are we gonna get the custody I, gonna, for Paul Heyman on a lot of match? I'm gonna, I'm gonna predict this right now. Predict I'm gonna it? be right. Watch predict this. It. Predict it. 
Paul Heyman was really working with Brock Lesnar. The whole time. Ladies and gentlemen. And he's like, yo, I had to keep the title warm for when he gets back or something like that. Holy. I promise you, man. But hey, all right, hey, all right, hey, 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 hey. My prediction. Hey. What's going on? Hey, let's see. Let us know in the comments down below, man. You feel me? Roman, it was so real. Roman heard the music. I think Roman had to stand up. He squinched. Oh, he squinched. They had to stand nah, up on the top nobody, rope. Nobody's face was more shocking than Paul Heyman. Heyman's. Bro. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. face. Yeah. <laughs> Roman <laughs> was trying to hand him something. And Paul was like, <laughs> like, he couldn't really. Paul was like, oh my God. <laughs> Paul was like, oh my God. It's a problem, like, yo, yo, it's a problem. Yo, there's a problem going on. It's back that I just picked up. Yeah. I mean, just... it, it definitely picked up if Brock is going to be there. You don't want to smack down. Yeah. Because again, Brock lost the title to Drew McIntyre. Yeah, but if Brock's gonna be there on a, a weekly basis, it would be cool. Uh, after that match, of course, after that match, uh, some standing off the air, he kicks Cena's ass. He destroys. He, he kicks Cena's ass. And uh, sent them back packing. That's the movie. <laughs> yeah, because we all, I mean, we already know. No, man. no, no. You, you said what? I'll pull up the footage too. What I said? Says, oh no, Cena will be back. I said no. I said that. To, I said Cena has a movie to do. He says no, he doesn't. All his movies and all that are done. I probably said I'll pull up footage if needed to. I was probably drinking high. You know Listen, what I'm saying? You know how to get my like little. I said, I'll be a little smizzy now. He's got now movies and to do, so he's packing up. He's going yeah, back yeah. to doing movies. <laughs> That was crazy, man. Simple as that. No, I like John Cena's shirt that he had on with all the title wins in the back, though. That was kind of dope. It was kind of dope, man. Yeah. But Brock Lesnar is motherfucking back, man. Let us know how y'all felt about that, man. How much damage will be done? Uh, speaking of draft, man, when you think they're going to have to complete the draft, man? Who cares? They always talk about me, man. Yeah, because you, you just, re just add the same people back to the same show. Exactly, that's, that's what you do. You just they add got them. like eight people. You shouldn't even draft nobody. Thanos. You brought Thanos back. You brought yeah. back Lesnar back. Yeah. Now you ain't going to add nobody back, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into this next, next. Get yeah. into it, man. NXT take over, man. 36, man. 36, man. It was dope. It was wetter than flipping, man. I couldn't have asked for a better, better fucking pay per view. NXT always delivered, man. It's wetter than the flipper? You like that? Hmm. You like that? I used to say that when I used to drink a lot. Yo, I used to be wetter than the flipper. Yeah, yeah. Wetter than the flipper. I ain't thinking that one. <laughs> Yo, don't quote me. Don't quote me. I'm going to take that. Exactly what you had to do. You had to quote me. Why did you say the little flipper? All right, man. Let's get into the next match, man. We got Rich Holland. The return of Rich Holland, man. Uh, he's fighting Pete Dunn. He uh, with Pete Dunn defeated Trey Baxter by ten a uh, pinfall. Yeah, he destroyed him. Yeah, uh, Rich Holland. Of course, he was uh, he was taken off TV earlier due to his whole injury. He was in a whole injury with Pat McAfee and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So we, let, let's see what him and Pete Dunn to do together. They're probably end up taking on tomorrow's on Champa. You know, yeah, I, that's what they're supposed to be doing. That's the whole beef okay. uh, right now. Okay, all right, man. Uh, let's get it in. We got the million dollar, the million dollar championship on the line, man. LA Knight versus Cameron Grimes. Okay. Okay, man. My ears, bro. Oh, my ears, match, bro. Man. My ears. Great match, man. All right, with Ted, Cameron Grimes, Ted DiBiase versus LA Knight, man. Uh, man, you did say it, man. It was time for LA Knight, uh, uh, Cameron Grimes to win. Time. Uh, we and get the, the fans behind him. Yeah, everybody behind him, yeah. bro. Like it's Tom, they I understand why now why they they waited on giving him a title. You had to build up. You had to have a reason to want people. Now of to course the, title. the stipulations was the stipulation was if LA Knight uh hold on if LA if LA Knight won man he would have been uh uh, uh Ted would have been his butler man yeah but of course yeah. you're not making those uh, 50, nah. 85 year old man uh. Yeah, uh, your butler, right? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. But Ted DiBiase did get in and get in the match involved. He uh, helped assist the uh, Grimes a couple of times, even did the million dollar dream. Yep. Man. That was yep. kind of yep. dope. So, yep. you feel me? He still got it. But, but, but why is it now, man? You feel that me? is a fire. Move. Straight to the moon, baby. Straight to the moon, man. I just hope they put it on a grander scale, like make it make sense, like for bringing this title back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I told you, I told you, and we said this a minute ago, man. The stipulations for that. I think, I think, I think the person up. who goes next should be like one of the members of the uh, hit row, the, the the young boy. Uh, Shanti the body. Shanti, I think he should go against. 
Because it would make sense for one of your hero members to have that title. Why not? Mm-hmm. If they're about money anyway. Come on, man. It'll look cool on black people. Come on, man. Uh, uh, Alright, man. man. Next next match. We got <laughs> Yeah, Yo, man. You, you don't even like it, bro, man. You just went yeah. hard for them. Yeah, I, I did. I did. He went hard, man. Alright, man. Rocco Gonzalez, Big Mommy Cool, defeated Dakota Kai, man, for the NXT Women's Championship, man. Uh, I hope to see more from this field. We knew that Dakota Kai wasn't just going to be uh, Big Mommy Cool just like that. But that's not even the kicker, man. Uh, Kaylee Ray, the former NXT UK champion, uh, champ, women's championship, is now at NXT, man. Cool. You don't even know she is. I've never seen her wrestling. Look, look, look. Coffee doesn't care. Yeah. Look, I don't know, know how that coffee yeah. doesn't care, man. That ring bells. Yeah, I, I, I just never seen a wrestling before. Then when they bring people out, I be like, oh. All right. Well, maybe I should keep up a little more with UK. Okay. Okay. Because you know I, mean? I know, uh, I can't say her name, but I know. Like, uh, the only guys I know from UK are Webb and. Uh, 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 social Power. culture. Yeah, well, what's the Power guys? Uh, uh, Flash Morgan Webb. Yeah, that's, that's the only people. And I'm Mark gonna... Andrews, man. Yeah, that's it. Alright, man. We got the NXT United Kingdom Championship. Speaking of that, man, we got Dragon North. Defeated Walter to become your NXT United Kingdom champion. <laughs> he defeated. Now, Walter has had the longest uh, reign in modern WWE history 887 days, uh, 70 days, 87 days. Still, that's a dope accomplishment and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Dragon off put, Dragon off put on. I'm going to be honest with you. He just had a match with Pete Dunn the night, uh, that Wednesday and shit like that. Yo, so, yo, man. Uh, it was time for Walter to give it up, don't you think? Yeah, it was way, it was way, it was overdue. time, it was way overdue, man. Way of course, overdue. especially if you wasn't having the whole team in Perium with titles, man. Yeah. So let's give it up, Plus, man. I see, I see Walter staying here. That's what it seems like, man. I see Walter staying here because Imperium's been here for the longest. Look, look, Pete Dunn is uh, here. Pete Dunn's here. Pete Dunn is here. Yeah, I, I see them taking a little shift around, da da da, trying to get Walter to stay here for a little while. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Take Dragon off back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, it, make, uh, it makes sense. It, it was good to see the title defended on American Soul as well, man. That was good for the Capital Wrestling Center as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, man. Let us know the comments. Remember the last time they fought for us for something on on American Soul? You... Don't you dare go there. Damn it! Arms over. <laughs> All right, man, let's get into this ma- next match, man. Two out of three falls match. Kyle O'Reilly defeated. Oh, man. Kyle O'Reilly defeated. Defeated Adam Cole, man. Oh, man. Yeah, the two out of three falls match. The first match was a singles falls match, man. The second match was a street fall. I mean, a street a street fight. And the second match was a cage, uh, cage match. Uh, Kyle won the first one. Adam Cole did win the second okay, one. Okay. He did win the second one. Right, he did, right. he did win the second out, one. Like, I'm thinking he won. Nah, the nah, 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 nah. He, like, I didn't see him win the second nah, one. Nah, nah. He definitely, definitely did win uh, the second one. Now, uh, Adam Cole put him work. Yeah, Kyle course. won by submission, by being yeah, handcuffed. Yeah, but it's right over, man. He's coming back from the dead, man. Now, this is the big kicker. Adam Cole did not resign with NXT, right, man. You want a bigger kicker? He's a bigger kicker. So, uh, the Young Bucks changed their, you know, they changed their uh, Twitter handle all the time. Yeah. So, this time, if you go to the Twitter handle and you press the link, it's a seance. Yeah. Now, we all know that Adam Cole on... BTE. BTE. Yes. So, uh, Adam, um, Kenny Omega tweets a picture of Adam Cole being dead. Like, maybe we can bring our friends back. He's back, man. Like Yo, he want to go be with his friends, man. We don't know. We don't look, know. We know, We're man. Just we know. We don't know. Look, we know. Look, look. We, saying, we, we about to get another big pop, man. We about to yeah, get another big pop. Some, if you haven't signed the contract before, <laughs> it's your, your your time is up. Oh, that means you you go, you're gone. That's it. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. It, it, it's if you don't see him Tuesday. We'll know. Yep. Yeah. Bye bye. Baby, he thinks that bye bye, baby. All right, man. Let's get into this next match, man. Uh, the next match was for the NXT uh, uh, Championship: Samoa Joe versus Karrion Cross. Of course, uh, of course, Samoa Joe is your three-time, first time, three-time ever NXT champion, man. I think it was dope, but it's over Karrion Cross, man. Exactly. 
Yo, it's over for that boy. Exactly. I get that man five more months in WWE and he's gone, man. Came he's like gone. He came, came out like looking like one demolition. He came out oh, looking no, like an executioner, like man. Yo, man, I don't know what the hell. It's over. It's like a ninja and a spot. Yo, it's over. If you if you don't know what we're talking about, yes, we're talking NXT TakeOver, but this is also Hill Talk as well. Cameron Cross has been on the Raw roster for a little minute. You know what I'm saying? He got jobbed out to Jeff Hardy just to win Jeff Hardy, just to be. It's it's over for Cameron Cross. I give that man five months, man. Five months, man. It's over, man. Five. You're not getting put in the. You better be for Damian Priest again. You better, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, they're gonna put him in a key for you. Know, you know what? I'm over. It's over. It's Listen, over. Man, once I seen his entrance on Monday Night Raw, I lost. It's over. I lost. I didn't even. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even bother watching the match. Yo, first of all, again, the crowd at the NXT at uh, NXT was crying. Scarlet. Scarlet. They they been yeah. got rid of Scarlet. They yeah. got it's over. Once you get rid of her, because she's the whole guy. That was the this. Yes. The entrance was his big thing. That's like getting rid of the fiend's entrance. <sighs> well, they just got rid, rid of the fiend. Yeah, 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 yeah. All together. All together. We ain't gonna talk about that, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? But this is the inner Cameron Cross, man. Uh, boy, man, I wish you well on your future endeavors, man, because yeah, this is man, not looking you know, good, man. It's crazy, man. All right, man. Let's get into speaking of another breakup, man. We got another breakup, man. We got the moist breakup ever, man. Oh man. Yo, I saw your I face, was, man. I saw your I, face. I, I hate that word. Moist? Yeah. Uh, well, that was stupid. <laughs> um, I predicted uh, this once again, man. Yeah. I predicted it. John Mo um the Miz has turned on John Morrison, man. Yeah, once again, yeah, y'all go check out that uh, uh what the Ring Fanatics, man. Ring Fanatics, man. Ring Fanatics. I predicted it, man. Uh, I it, 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 eventually time. But why couldn't Morrison turn on the Miz though? That's the thing. Morrison's character is supposed to be this idiot character. And that's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the fucking problem, man. But maybe this feud will put Morrison over. No. You're not maybe they have a lack of people, so. Look, a lack but, of people. But the good thing is, them being outside friends, they can really do something cool. It's going to be like this huge. It's going to be like Brian Myers and Matt Cardona beefing all over again. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? That, that's what it's going to be like, man. Man, it'll be cool to see it. And mm -hmm. then you'd be like, all right, I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it, bro. I, I, I'll be honest with you, man. Because uh, you're not putting John Morrison over. Put him over. Maybe they should put him over, right? Put him over. Maybe, yeah. No. Nah. Why He got squashed by Karrion Cross. That is right. He got squashed. That is what you for. He got squashed, bro. You my feel bad. me? My bad, my bad. Yo, that ass, man. Uh, All right, man. Uh. Thank you, everybody that's been tuned, that tuned in, whatever like that. You got anything you want to talk about? No, man, I'm good, man. I'm and good. shit like that. Uh, yo, this is a quick rundown. We had a lot to talk about. I ain't gonna hold you, but big shout out to uh everybody for tuning in, man. Uh, we don't know what we're gonna talk about next week. This has been season four. You already know I am the D O E. That is the coffee. What, what, what's your name, bro? I don't. I don't think what, what, what are you? Today. Uh, I don't know. I can't. Give a shoot, give, give a wrestler, man. I, I don't know, man. This is your uh, thing, man. Uh, I don't have one. I, 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 well, you better get the episode next week, nigga. Yeah. But you I, can't, already... I can't think of one real, real fast. Why? I don't know. Oh, uh, all right, all right, all right. Before we end this shit, man, what was your favorite pay per view, man? Because I didn't actually, of all, of all, all this whole week. I might have to like say that, NXT. Man. Okay. NXT. NXT okay. had it for me. Um,. I don't know. SummerSlam was pretty cool though, man. It was pretty yeah. cool. But like Rampage probably. And that was only just, three matches on yeah, there. Yeah, that's, that's only three I matches. Mean, I mean, man. Just to see CM Punk come back was probably like. The ice cream bars, cool. man. It was probably better than all that. But then, like I said, uh, to see um, Brock Lesnar for me to come back. Man, what was the biggest pop? What, was, what do you think was the biggest pop, man? Brock of course, Lesnar, the, the biggest pop. CM Punk. The biggest pop was probably CM Punk. Oh, the man. They, somebody asked me, they asked me last night. Uh, Marks and Mikes, they asked me. I said, Brock, Mikes. I said the pop that meant the most to me was Brock Lesnar, but CM Punk had more of a pop. They had niggas crying, they got grown men crying. Yeah, I ain't gonna, I caught chills, man. Again, again, with CM Punk being back in, yeah, maybe Santa is real and stuff like that. But let's see you do more. You know I mean, saying? again, highlight us, man. We all the Dirty Hills, get out of us. Season four, bang.
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.